come to the search for Mr. Rabbit. This is an amazing story. I love this story. We're at Barber Zone, 28th and Broadway, and this little guy right here, Mr. Rabbit 916, the mascot, and Uncle Mace, his loving dad. You guys had a really traumatic experience happen on Sunday. Yeah. What what happened? Yes, yeah, so I went to SF Market to go get some groceries for Sunday, Sunday feast. We do every Sunday, and I left him in the car. The window cracked, had water, everything I was supposed to do, and I came out. Somebody broke the window and took my little guy. Uh, I just came apart, unglued. Yeah, that just broke your heart. You did everything right. You filed the police report. You let the police know this had happened, um, and then you started posting posters up saying $2,500 reward, and that's when the people who had stolen him came forward. Right, right. He had his collar the whole time. He's chipped up, got the address, my phone number on his collar, and then the day, the next day after I got my scruples together, I figured out, put the flyers out. Then they tried to get the money. I see. I see. Okay, so the good news is... You have him back. Yep. He is safe at home. Okay, Steve, yep. swing on up here. We want to take people inside because this place is so cool. You have had the Barber Zone in Sacramento 25 years. You've been at this location for 16 years. Yeah, we want to make sure that he is inside and safe. And when you walk in the door, this is such a family owned and operated business. Lots of fun things for the kids. By the way, I got to point out, I love that you have the air hockey table because that is one of my favorite, favorite games and video games for the kiddos as well. See, Mr. Rabbit likes the air hockey too. Just, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that he was able to make it home safely to you. Um, let's take him on into the barber shop because he really helps keep the kids calm, keep right. the keep everybody calm. He right. just takes care of all the people who swing by. This is what we need. Every, every shop should have a mascot like this, a calm one. Okay, so let's m swing on in here. And I just want to introduce everybody to a couple of your nephews who are also in the shop as well. Hi, guys. Oh, such a cool spot. Good morning. And there, of course, he's got his own chair. Of course, he, he has to. Um, what would you, what would your message be to someone who goes through something like this? It, it, obviously, a traumatic experience. Stay calm. Keep hope alive. Put the prayers up. Facebook, Instagram, and social media works great, great. Flyers and all that. And then go slow and stay searching. You'll find him, I promise. I got to tell you, Uncle Mace, you are awesome. I have really enjoyed meeting you. I've really enjoyed meeting your little man here. You're, he's a family member. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you, buddy? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll give him some love. I'll give him some love. Oh, we're so happy you're back. He just wants some smooches. He just wants some kisses. That's all. Thanks, Bethany. Hey, the Front Street Animal Shelter has some tips on what to do if your pet goes missing. First, you should always follow a report with your local animal control agency. If your pet is microchipped, call the microchip company to ensure that your information is current. Also, check all local shelters and local lost and found social media pages to see if your pet might have turned up on one or has been found by someone. Also, check Craigslist and other websites to see if someone may have listed your pet for sale. Take a load off, no matter where you are.